Hello, my name is Chris from today. I'm going to show you how to update Portainer on Cos OS. I did a video on installing Portainer on Cos OS. Then I got a comment on that video asking how to update to the latest Portainer version. So, unfortunately, the App Store gets behind sometimes. So, I'm going to show you how to manually update it and get the latest version without waiting on the App Store. So, this is the person who suggested the video. So, thanks to him. And uh, for, for the suggestion, so a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, they're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to, uh, to start with Cos OS, and I went ahead and went to the App Store, I installed Portainer, and then I installed a Docker Impose in, in, in Nginx example app in Portainer. So we can go into Portainer and we can see that new version is available down here. So 2.19.0 is available. So we're gonna update to that version. So I'm going to go back over to Macos OS and I'm going to set it up. Uh, go into this little dots up in the top, top right and then settings. And then now I'm going to go to export uh, Docker Compose up here. I want you to export this. You're, you're going to need to, in, to save it to your computer. So save it to your computer. And then we'll open it up in VS Code or whatever text editor you have on your computer. And then we will change the version number inside of the image. So click this, uh, download it on your computer, and then open it up in VS Code or a text editor of your choice. So once you have the Docker Compose that you exported from Casa OS in there, it, it's gonna have this information. And then we're going to go down here and we're gonna change this tag to the tag that we had. So 2.19.0. Then we're going to copy this and we'll go over to Casa OS now. So now we're going to go back to Cos OS, and w when you're changing that tag, uh, change it to the number that it is on the left side of the portainer, like I showed you, because this video could be older and there could be a, a um, 2.20.0 out now. So uh, you could have a different number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go up here to portainer. I'm going to click the dots like usual. Then I'm going to say uninstall. And then I'm not going to delete the user data right here. And I'm going to say un uninstall. Then there we go. It's uninstalled. So now we're going to go back over the app store. Then we're going to custom install. And then we're going to go to import right here. And then Docker compose. So we're going to paste it in. And then we're going to make sure that that tag is the version that you, you want. My latest version right now is 2.19.0. So now I'm going to submit. I'm going to say OK. This should be all right. So now I'm going to say install. Then it is now installed and you can see the Nginx is still here. So now we're gonna go into Portainer and we're gonna see if it works, and it does. So this has the same volume, the same everything, the port, everything's the same still. So all the data should be the same. So we're gonna type in our username and password that you had on the last Portainer. And then we're logged in now so uh, let's go to local, let's go to stacks, and then you can see my Nginx stack is still here. So you can see it's running, everything's the same. There's no update banner down here. So we successfully updated Portainer and got it to where we can uh, use the new version. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Portainer updated. Um, 
uh, either you installed it from the App Store or you installed it yourself. You can still update it. A pretty easy in Cost OS. Just export it, change the uh, tag. Make sure you don't uh, delete the user data when you're actually in uninstalling it from Cost OS, and then just reinstall it. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. And stay tuned for more.